feel to uh, get that win? And, uh, yeah. Well, I'm very, ha very happy, obviously. Uh, this is my first uh, first win this year, first win at the, the Australian Open in the main draw, so I'm very, very happy with the way uh, I played and I'm, I managed to, uh, to to get through this round, so yeah, very pleased. I talked to you and Amelie and Perth, obviously, I'm just curious how things were going the last, I don't know, 10 days since I saw you and, and, and how, uh, is it tough when you have a par coaching partnership that starts off without, without wins? Well, yeah. I know it's going to take time. Uh, I'm coming from a, a year where it has been quite difficult for me. Uh, I almost haven't won a match for, I don't know, many months or one win, and then three losses. But uh, if I, I decided to, to work with Amelie, it's because I, I trust her and uh, I believe that she she's going to make me win and improve again. So. Uh, even if I don't win one or two matches, it doesn't mean it's over. Uh, it's gonna take time, and we 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 keep working hard. Even after Sydney, uh, right after the match, we went back on court. Uh, and that's not what I, wa I was uh, used to it to do. So I'm I'm just very very happy that uh, the way we are working together and and that we we get the first win together. But it's not at the end. It's not what we want. Only one win. If I win here and then lose. I don't know, 10 matches, I prefer to lose 10 matches and then w win 45 or, you know, so it's, 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 it's just that we, we're going to keep working hard every day, we're going to keep trying to improve and, uh, and that's, uh, that's <coughs> our goal. Luca, um, you talked about last year, um, is it true that you've considered taking a break, you know, after some of your results? Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, it's tough to do. It's tough to do it because uh, in tennis you always have, uh, I mean, a tournament a goal every every single week. Uh, and the only reason I didn't stop until the end of the season was the Davis Cup. Uh, I wanted to play the the final, so I, I did. As, I decided to keep playing, keep playing. Uh, but otherwise, I was thinking to yeah. In the case we were, we lost in the in the semis. I think I would have stopped uh, for the year, but. It's in the past, and now I'm I'm happy to be here. Yeah, um, yesterday, Andy Murray said that he felt like he played too much, you know, trained too much. Maybe he should have taken breaks, even just like an afternoon here or a week there. Um, is it also tough because you know you see all the other players around you and you're scared <coughs> that maybe they will surpass you if you even play yourself? Well, that's yeah, that's a problem. There is a tournament every week, but when when you see. Uh, for example, now recently Thomas Burdich, he has stopped for 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 many months, and he's coming back. He's he's more fit than uh, maybe than ever, uh, and I think it's like a washing machine. You know, you stop, you go in the everything, and then you come back, you're clean, and you you're ready to go mentally, physically, and and that's I think we're gonna see it more and more. Uh, the, the tour when you you speak to other sports like I don't know uh, I, I speak to your French uh, handball player Daniel Narcisse and he say Fuck, it's crazy for you guys one week you're in Australia one week you're in France then you're in Holland and in uh, Mexico then United States you, we travel all the time and we we play out and we never almost never rest uh, and that's where Roger is really really strong because he he accept even if he loses somewhere, he's going to take three weeks and then rest, practice, come back. Well, of course, he's number one, it's easy one or number two, but still, he plays 13 tournaments a week, uh, a year, when some, while some players are playing 25, 28, or 30 tournaments, and that's, that's all. Um, on that note, um, pretty much all of the top players, including Roger, have been injured, have serious possible career-threatening injuries over the past couple of years. Does that make you kind of weary about how you kind of handle your career, how much you play, all of that stuff? Well, uh, that's why I have my physio all the time. That's why I have my trainer, uh, and that's why all the, all my team around me all the time to try to avoid all this uh, all these injuries. Uh, even though I have some, I had some injuries when I was younger, around 16, 17. Uh, 
sometimes when I, I get tight or I played a lot, my back is hurting already and I'm 24. So I know that when I, I'm going to be around 30, 32, it's going to be more difficult. But that's, I mean, that's part of the, of the sports, I guess. And we just need to try to work every day with the physio, with the medical stuff to, to get ready for this and to avoid this if, it's possi if possible.